So guys, iPadOS 16 added a few extra ways of working with the iPad Pro, made it a bit more interesting to use, so I might be grabbing it a bit more often now, and we haven't done an iPad accessories video in a minute, so let's do one. Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So it's been a while since our last accessories vid, and I've got a few very nice ones lined up for you today. All right, starting off with the most straightforward accessory, but arguably the most important one, and that is a powerful charger. This one is by Aohi, and if you've been to my channel before, you've seen me plug their chargers before, pun very much intended. And there is a good reason for that. These are not only very powerful, they're also very small, and that is because they are GAN chargers. And if you don't know, GAN stands for gallium nitride, which is a material that produces far less heat, which makes it possible to make these chargers so small. And small it is, especially considering that this is a 120 watt charger so this thing can charge my m1 macbook pro as well as my ipad pro and my iphone the dual usb-c ports have a total output of 120 watts and a single usb-c port supports up to 100 watts pd fast charging so i could charge my macbook pro up to 50 percent in half an hour i haven't timed it but imagine the speed with which it will charge an ipad pro from zero to full when you do use all four ports at the same time, it makes use of intelligent power allocation, which means the 120 watts will be distributed intelligently over your four devices. At 89 bucks, it is in a similar price range as Apple's chargers, but this one is a lot smaller and it offers four ports instead of just one. If you're interested in picking one up, there is a link in the description as well as a discount code. Now, if you've seen my iPad accessories videos before, you know I always try to incorporate at least one bag or sleeve. The iPad is an expensive piece of gear with a bunch of accessories to go with it, so it's important that it all has a good home when we're traveling or living that digital nomad life. And the one I have for you today is by far the most stylish one I have ever reviewed on this channel. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying that this thing is absolutely not cheap, but you can literally smell the quality and it just screams premium. Heck, even the packaging is fancy. I mean, look at this. This one was sent out to me for review by a company called Harbor London. It's called a Nomad Organizer, and these are 100% handcrafted out of full grain leather, which might explain the price tag. The leather feels really soft and smooth, and you guys already know I have a thing for leather accessories. That's what she said. <laughs> and I'm a sucker for cognac brown. I mean, there's something about this color on leather that is just, mm. But of course it doesn't just look and smell nice, it's actually a very well-considered organizer as well. It actually has two large pockets so it can hold both a 12.9 inch iPad Pro and a MacBook Pro up to 14 inches at the same time. Personally, I wouldn't recommend that because it would get very bulky and heavy, but you can do so if you want. It has a number of useful loops and pockets for your Apple Pencil, some cables, AirPods, there's a pocket for your iPhone, of course some credit cards, pen, passport, some cash for those who are still carrying that. And there's even a key ring, which is convenient because that's where I keep my AirTag. On the other side is where I like to keep my iPad. And there's a bigger pocket for whatever else you wanna carry. Maybe a notepad or some business cards, who knows? The zippers are also really sturdy and you will notice it has these loops on the side and those are there in case it all gets a little bit too heavy or you just need your hands free because this organizer comes with a leather strap so you can turn it into a messenger bag if you need to. Guys, again, I know it's a hefty price tag, but I wish you could feel this thing. It's a thing of beauty. And if you like to travel in style, definitely check this thing out. They make all kinds of these leather accessories. I will put a link to their website in the description. By the way, guys, if you like these accessories videos and other Apple related stuff, now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. I upload about once a week at least, so plenty of fresh content coming your way. All right, another really useful accessory is this travel charger right here. And this is not an ordinary power bank. This one even has an AC out. I'm not kidding. You can literally power your blow dryer with this thing. Obviously, I won't be needing any of that. Maybe some clippers at some point. Anyway, it's a great addition to have on a power bank. Aside from the convenience factor, it is obviously a beefy power bank too, which will charge your iPad Pro more than one entire charge without any problems. It has a capacity of 22,500 milliamp hour and delivers 30 watt PD charging over USB-C. It also has an additional USB-A port delivering 18 watts of power. It is equipped with what they call Smart IC, 
and protection hardware so you don't have to worry about any short circuits or overheating. The indicator lights on the front show you how much juice is left and maybe the best part is the price because this thing comes in at just $89 on Hekka's website. Hekka is an online store that sells handy gadgets like this at very competitive prices. They've been sending me stuff off and on to review and they're all solid products. They even offered me a code to share with you guys. So if you type Patrick 10 at checkout, you'll get 10 bucks off any order as long as it's over 29 bucks, which will definitely be the case if you want this one. Definitely have a browse if you like nifty accessories that don't break the bank. Next up is the sponsor of today's video, Paperlike. You guys already know I like to take handwritten notes on my iPad, but I hate the way the Apple Pencil feels directly on the glass surface. It's way too slippery and it makes my handwriting look even worse than it already is. Paperlike fixes that because of the texture on the screen protector, which mimics the feeling of writing on actual paper. But the guys over at Paperlike actually developed two new products they wanted me to show you guys. One is a pencil grip set, which makes writing even more comfortable. And the other one that makes my OCD very, very happy is a cleaning kit. I have yet to meet a person who loves fingerprints on their tech, so this new cleaning kit is definitely something I will carry in my accessories bag. More good news because Paperlike has kindly offered me to give away a couple of these packs to my subscribers. So if you're interested in winning one of these kits, just write a comment telling me why you want one. And in a couple of weeks time, I will announce the winners over on Instagram. So be sure to give me a follow over there as well. Right, moving on to the next accessory or rather series of accessories, and that is the Moft Snap System. Moft is becoming one of my favorite iPad accessories companies. I love how creative these guys are with their use of magnets, and they're constantly dreaming up ways to make using our iPads more efficient. What I like about Moft is that their stuff is modular, so you can use them as individual products, but they also work great together, like this stand here. It's one of my favorites. It folds down super small, so it slides into any bag, but when you open it, it turns into a stand that you can bend into all kinds of angles. Everything works on the basis of magnets, so if you're not using a magnetic case, you can just slap on one of these magnetic stickers and use it like that. But they also make these cool back covers that also hold the Apple Pencil, which is kind of neat, but that also means you can leave this on your iPad and snap it onto the stand just like that, which is my favorite way of using it. The second way of using this back cover is in conjunction with the Moft tablet stand, which is also quite a nice little gadget. You can just leave this on all the time. I mean, it's wafer thin, so you won't know it's there. And when you want to set the tablet down somewhere, all you have to do is fold it open again in multiple different angles. And lastly, there is this snap pad, which is kind of genius in its simplicity. One side is magnetic, so it snaps onto the case or the magnetic sticker. And the other one is this washable and reusable sticky surface that sticks to just about anything. I like to use it in the kitchen where I just stick this thing onto one of our kitchen cabinets, snap one of the iPads on there and watch some YouTube videos while I'm cooking. You can also fold it down like this so you can set things down on it instead like your iPhone. As you can see, super thoughtful stuff and it's not very expensive either. Links to everything in the description. Now, when you're using the iPad in a stand, Obviously, you're gonna need a keyboard and a mouse for those longer work sessions. And I really love this dope keyboard by Nufi. It's called the Air 60, and it's called that because it's a reduced size keyboard at 60% of full size. I love the way it looks, and the size is just perfect to go with the iPad. It's a mechanical keyboard, which makes for a very nice typing experience, although you do need to be aware that this will be making a lot more noise than say an Apple Magic Keyboard. You can choose between Gatoron red, blue or brown switches, and you can order extra Coast keycaps for just $10. The folio case, which I might actually like even more than the keyboard itself, will be included, and you can actually use this case to prop up your iPad for typing, which basically turns it into a portable mini desk setup. I don't know, I like innovative little gadgets like that. Of course, you can use it with lots of other devices as well, both Mac and Windows. There's actually a little switch on the back that lets you switch between Windows and Mac, and you can connect it both wired and via Bluetooth. The keys and switches are hot swappable and backlit for you RGB lovers. Nufi was kind enough to offer a 10% discount for my viewers, so if you follow the link in the description and use the code PATRICK, you can get this keyboard at a reduced rate. For a good portable mouse, I still really like the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. It is basically the little brother of my favorite mouse of all time, the MX Master 3. It feels great in the hand, it's super portable, and you can switch between three devices by simply pressing the little button on the bottom. 
Of course, all work and no play makes Patrick a dull boy, so every now and then I like to kick back and play a little video game. On the absolutely fantastic mini LED display, of course, of this 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And for that, the best option, in my opinion, is definitely this PS5 DualSense controller. Pairing is super easy, and once you're paired, it works every time. All right, guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please give one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.